So this is another test animation where I've taken the gases that make up the atmosphere of Earth and broken them up into spheres of their own at sea level pressures, 20 degrees C for carbon. Uh, they expand much uh, more than they would if they were all mixed together because of the ideal gas law and overlapping. Uh, think of marbles of different sizes inside a jar. Anyway, we can see that methane, the smallest bubble, uh, is such a tiny, tiny uh, amount of gas uh, spread out around the whole globe, but uh, it has such a huge effect. Imagine a, a little fart in a room uh, the size of that largest of the spheres there in front of the Earth. Um, however, I think this is a bit confusing because if you add all these spheres together, it's going to give you a bubble that's larger than the atmospheric sphere would normally be. It's only when they interact with each other that the smaller marbles fit between the bigger marbles and we get a, a sphere that's actually uh, uh, about the size of the nitrogen bubble on its own. Uh, the nitrogen bubble is the biggest bubble closest to the Earth. And then it's oxygen and then argon. Uh, uh, so 78% uh, nitrogen, 21% oxygen, 0.93% argon. 0.04% carbon dioxide, the black sphere, uh, is all the carbon that we're dealing with. Tiny fluctuations have such big implications. Then there's neon, 0.0018%, helium, 0.005%, uh, methane is 0.0002%. Uh, so a thousandth, uh, two thousandths of a percent is all the methane, that brown bubble. Okay, so in the next stage, I'm going to use one sphere that represents the atmosphere at average pressure and then the other spheres that represent the gases will just be a percentage of the size of that atmosphere sphere uh, according to their uh, constituent parts so 78 percent for nitrogen 28 percent for oxygen etc and then we can use uh, these spheres to see the, well, the safe zones when the methane or carbon dioxide sphere gets too large it creates global warming or too small we're heading towards ice age and snowball earth uh, again uh, hundreds of millions of years of a, the earth in its snowball state we don't want to go back to that either and um, so now we have our celestial instrumentation we have our safe zones our barometer with our needle uh, are we going outside of it and we can judge the solutions against that we can see does stopping fossil fuels uh, uh, help us get uh, to where we need to be or does uh, changing our diet and how quickly are those solutions impacted and also we can look at deforestation and reforestation we can also look at the different climate models in terms of the mainstream IPCC model um, that doesn't include deforestation presently uh, calling uh, managed land uh, you know in, managed land is in, uh, includes deforestation and then we can see what happens when we do include deforestation now we have our, our our measuring stick for measuring what's going on okay anyway that's me trying to understand it i'd love to hear what you think i need to do this for my own understanding if it's useful to anyone else let me know